know, the Olympics was an amazing achievement for both of us. And it's still, I think, not really sunk in yet. It's sinking in. Because um, you kind of come back and you're straight back into training and, you know, life returns to normality. But in, I think in time it will it'll sink in and it will realise kind of what an achievement we, we achieved. I think we went in there as, as underdogs, if you like. Um, you know, when we won, we really just couldn't quite believe what, what we had done. Obviously, we went there knowing that we could compete with the best people in the world uh, when we played well. But to perform consistently the way we did throughout the, the whole tournament was, you know, it's, it's something we've not really done before. So we're actually really excited to go back to the tournaments now to see if we can replicate what we've done. We've heard nothing but positive things since we got back. You know, it's been, you know, participation numbers have been up here, there and everywhere. So whether it's because of us or, you know, anyone else, it, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's just fantastic for the sport and we're actually really proud to just be part of it. As long as, you know, for me anyway, my body holds up, hopefully it will. We've got good physios here sticking me together. So, you know, I'd love to go to Tokyo because that is going to be an amazing Olympics. I mean, we've been to Japan a number of times and they're the most organised, like, on-time nation in the world. So everything's going to be done to the point. Um, and, you know, if we're getting better and better by then, who knows how good we could be.